Steve? Uh, Mike, 2010 Soccer World Cup, transport infrastructure projects, things like that have obviously helped you through the, the interim period. Many investors probably wondering though what happens afterwards, what's the pipeline of work looking like post-2010? Yes, Steve, uh, there has been a super cycle, obviously, uh, you know, certainly Group 5 did uh, bring its resources back home to execute that work. We, we had probably more than our fair share having built uh, stadiums and airports and, uh, and roads and so on, but it has been a very good time for us, but uh, I think there's also a time now to look outward again. So um, our focus certainly is, is to execute what remains of the public sector works, uh, including obviously for the state-owned enterprises, Eskom and Sanrail and so on. But our, our stance now is, is to regrow international opportunities, which uh, were there some years back, obviously disappeared, and now we see them on the horizon again. So as you said, you brought some resources back to help you with these projects. Where will you be deploying them? Where are these opportunities? In, in this period of uh, recessive um, sort of trading, obviously what's happened is that uh, the mining industry fell over, particularly the African mining area. Uh, the Middle East, we, we've seen obviously the cancellations there over the last year. So those markets are returning now. We see s some signs of life in the mining industry, particularly in West Africa, in, in uranium, gold, diamonds, and so on. And then in the Middle East, where we resized our business, we were quite exposed to Dubai. But uh, we have a more aggressive look in the region now, and so new awards in the in outside of Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Jordan, Qatar, and the like. So that's where our, our primary focus is in terms of geography. Are some of the, the projects that were delayed or cancelled coming back on stream? Will you be seeing those in the second half of the financial year? Interesting you ask. Uh, yes, in fact, two mining projects which uh, were cancelled out of our order book in the previous year have now been negotiated, and, and we're back on site. And those projects, what can you tell us? Uh, th there's a... Um, a copper cobalt t project in the DRC and, and a gold mining project in West Africa and in Ghana, in fact. Of course, you say profit um, for the full year should be maintained at least the same level as last year. Going beyond that, a lot depends on uh, timing of targeted local and international mm -hmm. contracts. Um, is, is it all about timing at this point? We think we're well set. You know, we have a good execution plan. I think uh, the strategy has shown an, a degree of uh, resilience, possibly not that widely seen in the, in the rest of the market. So. Um, in analyzing opportunities, we, we, are, we have a, a, a good execution plan for many of the sectors which are, are going to come back. It really is a question of timing now. Of course, we do have this huge amount that's being spent on infrastructure developments in, in the country. Um, are tenders being awarded at this stage, though? Because it seems lots of people are, are hanging around waiting for those tenders to be awarded. It is a mixed bag. Uh, the state-owned enterprises, particularly um, Transnet and Sanrail, have been very good clients of ours. Others, obviously, for reasons of, of financing and um, I think also the capacity to execute have been less uh, less uh, sort of responsive in the time but going forward we see opportunities in, in the public sector but our alliance certainly is not to be as dependent on on them as we have in the past 12 to 18 months. How are you positioned to win these tenders? I mean there was a, there was a report in the paper this morning just about the altercation that you have with one of your empowerment shareholders, the Lima Consortium and th that's going to, to course at the moment as you try to unwind that. Of course you still have Mvela Panda as your other empowerment shareholder. Mm. Are you well placed to, to win these tenders? Absolutely. Uh, the Lima environment is unfortunate, but, uh, but it is uh, before the court, as you say, so it's you know, really uh, sub to say in that respect. The, the Lima shareholding is, un is un unaffected by that. In terms of the improvements we made to our, our scorecard over the last year or two, the, the unwind or not of a Lima is not necessarily material to our, our rating as a level three contractor, which is probably one of the best in the industry. Just quickly, um, project opportunity pipeline um, grown from 73 billion to 116 billion rand. Um, how far out are we looking here, and what percentage of that would you typically capture? We're looking at a at a, a radar that looks out sort of four or five years, but uh, I suppose the next three to four is, is more real. We do analyse each of the sectors and we give it a rating in terms of probability. If we, if we take that and our market share in each of those sectors, which might be different in each of the sectors, we get to around about a 36 billion rand opportunity out of, out of that pipeline over the next three or four years. Obviously not all of it will happen or it won't happen in, in the time we've analysed, but at least it's a tool for us to be able to plan with. So things looking very positive going forward? I think there is in the, in the medium term, absolutely.